do an activation, mm -hmm. it will not show up on that device thing. 28-year-old Orion McCormick works as a regional manager for Cricket Wireless. But it's not what he does at his day job that caught our attention. It's what he can do after hours and where he does it that will likely catch you a little off guard. Yeah, for guys, it's really just jeans or khakis. Orion McCormack spends most days traveling from one Cricket Wireless store to another. You're looking at a 13 megapixel back camera. That's as good as some of the iPhones currently right now. Checking to make sure products, service, and staff are up to par. But after dark, at a bar where most folks showed up on a weeknight for the half-priced pizza and cliche karaoke songs, what they wound up getting was this. McCormack no longer worried about hitting the right sales numbers, but about hitting the right note. all kinds of songs, but Italian opera? <laughs> is his favorite. I love it. With opera, especially in a different language, you have to learn what you're saying, and so you tend to connect with the song better. <laughs> and he wasn't the only one connecting. I don't even want to go next now. <laughs> I had to stop drinking my beer to watch the song. It was just, it was fantastic. Wonderful. It sounded like the Bellagio, like the, like the water fountain at the Bellagio. Like what? Yeah. Yeah. It's impressive. Uh, I was. I was singing along and he was fabulous. And that's the thing with karaoke. It can be somewhere where you can get up and show a side of you that you can't show anywhere else. Like... This is the side I love to show, but I can't do it during the day. A side McCormick wasn't always comfortable showing. I grew up in a small town of Tipton, and I'm gay. And it was not easy. In fact, McCormick kept his sexuality a secret from family and friends his entire childhood, much like his voice. Orion grew up in the shadow of his two sisters. Both popular and outgoing, McCormick sisters often took center stage at community theater while Orion handled the technical work backstage. We really didn't realize Orion had much of a singing voice. Until his senior student showcase in high school, when he decided to take the mic. Everybody was in their seats like, oh my gosh, he has a voice, he can sing. And the more he sang, the more he came into his own off stage. He started coming out of his shell and singing, and it was his outlet. When he finally came out at age 20, McCormick says the announcement cost him friends, and he faced backlash both at home and school. But he always found relief in music. That's what lets me escape. When you're a gay person, especially in the Midwest, it's very hard to come out and say, exactly who you are and that's how he expressed himself is through his music to perform that music professionally oh that is my dream broadway is my my true dream a dream realized for now only on karaoke night that's the funny thing about dreams sometimes they're not all financially stable so for now he'll keep plugging away at his day job he's a hard worker and when you first meet him you don't think that that kind of voice is going to come out of him. A voice you'll likely never hear unless you ask. I didn't really believe him because a lot of people say that they can sing, but once he started singing, I had to like, grab my phone and I recorded it. I, it was amazing. It gave me goosebumps. Or catch him on karaoke night. <laughs> While you still can. <laughs> Wonderful singing here. Thanks so much. That's Orion.